working to keep kids safe. Joining us here to tell us all about it is film critic Tom Santilli with Movie Show Plus. Thank you so much for being here, Tom. Hey, great to talk to you this morning. So first off, Sarah Michelle Geller, who I love, has a new yes. campaign to help keep kids safe. Tell us about it. Yeah, Teenage Me uh, was freaking out this week when I got to talk to Sarah Michelle Geller, who uh, basically she is involved uh, with a campaign that uh, Lysol is putting on where, it, uh, you know, right now it's back to school. Everybody's kind of thinking about back to school. I have a kid, uh, you know, four year old going back to school this year. So it's on everybody's minds. And Sarah Michelle Geller was uh, here to tell us about a very cool uh, promotional campaign that she's doing with Lysol. Uh, and I'll let her explain. Every pack of Lysol disinfecting wipes that you buy, a pack is donated to Schools in Need through the Kids in Need Foundation, which is really incredible. It's through September 26th, and any marked package uh, will go back to a Title I school or a school that can't afford that. And as we know now, keeping our schools healthy and our educators and everybody that works in the schools is such an utmost priority, really to thank them for the work that they're doing. Do you recommend anything uh, where parents can go to get good information? You can also go uh, to Lysol.com backslash here. And on that, we'll have not just information about this campaign, but really information in general about what we can do to not just help our children, but to help our community. And I think that's the thing that I've taken the most from all of this is it's not about individuals. It's what we can right. do as a community. Those teachers, and not just teachers, every single person that goes to that school every day, is they are frontline heroes, right? They're trying to be there for our kids emotionally, physically, educationally, and what are those things that we can do to give back? Buffy the Vampire Slayer saving the day once again. <laughs> so happy to see her doing good things. Now, there, yeah, if I could, add, if uh -huh. I could add on that too, real quick, that uh, there's a lot more with that interview, and I talked to her about she's a voice in the new He-Man uh, animated thing on Netflix, and I talked to her about ever reprising her role as Buffy in the future. So there's a lot more of that interview online at MovieShowPlus.com if people want to check that out. Well, I'll have to check that out because I'm a huge Buffy fan. But I do want to move on now <laughs> to the yep. groundbreaking Marvel film now playing. Tell us about it. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is the latest Marvel film, and I uh, I have actually loved it. I thought it was great. It's in theaters only right now. Uh, they're not doing it uh, simultaneously on Disney Plus like uh, like they've done with other films. Uh, but yeah, it's it's action packed. Uh, it it really fits in well with uh, you know the, what's going on right now with the Marvel Universe Phase Four. Uh, the the bad guy in it, uh, played by Tony Long, is like super. Uh, super interesting super compelling and there's a lot of good action I, I think most marvel people are going to be very uh happy with you know having waited for this for so long and then having it finally be here of course stay through the credits as always with marvel films uh as it sets up uh future installments that looks like a good film now you'll be heading to canada next week for the toronto film festival there what can people expect to see if they're going to so, the, yeah, the Toronto International Film Festival starts uh, September 9th. It goes through the 18th. It is, of course, one of the biggest film festivals out there. A lot of big films are going to be previewed uh, for critics and, and the public alike. And I will be back on, uh, you know, on, on with you guys at WXYZ uh, a couple times over the next couple weeks with updates on some of the films that are sticking out and that uh, has all the buzz. So, so check that out as well. And also on the social, WXYZ.com. Love that. Always love having you here. Uh, Nomad Land won for best Oscar, won an Oscar for best picture, and was a big winner last year in Toronto. Yep. Could the next Oscar winner be premiering at this festival? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, a, a lot of you know Toronto is placed right at the beginning of you know the so-called award season is always starts in September, and a big reason for that is because of the Toronto Film Festival. Also, Telluride is going on right now. Uh, but yeah, those are the two big ones that really kick it off, and a lot of studios hold their their best work for the film festivals uh, just to get that buzz rolling through the fall. Now you're giving away tickets to the Renaissance Festival. How can people grab some of those? Yeah, so again, my show, Movie Show Plus, uh, which, by the way, has a new episode people can check out this weekend. It, uh, Sunday at 4.30, it uh, debuts. Uh, they can watch it online at movieshowplus.com. But if you go to movieshowplus.com forward slash MI Renfest, we're giving away uh, lots of uh, free passes to the Michigan Renaissance Festival. If you've never been, it's, it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and we're uh, a partner with them, so we're happy to get passes out to uh, people that will hopefully go and check it out.
All right, Tom Santilli with Movie Show Plus. Of course, people should check that out. You've got all the latest updates on all the big movies happening. So, Tom, <laughs> thank you so much for being here with us this morning. We really appreciate it. Awesome to be here. One more thing. Uh, happy birthday, Mom. Aw, happy birthday, Mom. <laughs> Holly, we can understand taking some time to wish happy birthday to Mom, right? Oh, absolutely. You get that opportunity, you better yeah. say happy birthday, Mom. So, <laughs> looking good as we head out on this Friday morning, getting the weekend started. A live look over campus. Marcia, some sunshine today. The question is,